It was a horrific time in the world, and Holocaust survivors don't want people to forget. The John Carroll School is making sure that doesn't happen. I fear that in the future it's going to be forgotten. 89-year-old Herta Bache is a Holocaust survivor. She shared her story with students Wednesday. We lived in a state of angst. Each year, the John Carroll School hosts the day-long program, which included speakers and video testimonials from other survivors. Bates describes what it was like in her Vienna town. I have the feeling that everybody was tense and anxious and worried about what would happen next. They didn't know where they took their men. They didn't, uh, they didn't hear anything about they didn't hear from them. They didn't know where they were taken or what they, whether they were alive. My mother said it's going to be very bad for us. She says her father was taken to a labor camp. When she was seven years old, the German Jewish Aid Society from Baltimore came to Vienna to get nine children out of the country. She was one of them. She arrived in New York and eventually Baltimore, where she was raised. I felt very guilty that I was running around free and I had this wonderful home. Her mother wrote her letters, but then they stopped. My mother was taken to a, a camp not far from Vienna, Molly Trostenek, and it was a death camp. It wasn't a concentration camp. They, they shot as uh, they came in. Uh, my father was Rudolf. Dr. Charles Heller is a survivor from Czechoslovakia. He told the students about his early life before he fled with his mother and father to the United States. We were the only three survivors. We lost 25 members of our family in the Holocaust. The scariest thing was when we were... Uh... Meeting these survivors had an impact with the students. It just seems like something in a history book that happened forever ago, but she lived through it. And to see her in person and hear her story in person, I just feel so... I think it's so special that we're able to experience this. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night. In a week, the class of 2023 will take the annual senior trip to Washington, D.C. to the Holocaust Museum. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.